All right, what is going on, Misfits? Yeah, I know it has been some amount of time since I've actually called you guys that, but for the most part, I figured I should still do that for the Bleeding Nets players out there. Regardless of which, as you guys know, I've been making a better transition into some different games, especially fighting games, because fighting games are sick. So this is the GG Strive beta, and right now I'm just kind of going over a few things that I liked as well as disliked about it. So we're just going to look at this match for right now. And right now this is TTV Abjur Original. Not sure who this guy is, but... Oh man, these are just some scrub matches with me going up against uh, Giovanna. So far I've been able to have some fun with Milia. Wow. Okay, okay. So far, I've been able to have fun with Melia, but Giovanna is, uh, I didn't want to pick her up immediately because everyone was going to gravitate towards her, and I don't want to do what everyone else is doing. So, wow, that overhead is crazy. Wow, that overhead is crazy. Wow, that overhead fucking cross-up is insane. So, as you can tell, I don't have any movement or structure with, uh, Melia at all right now. Granted, later on during the beta, I learned a lot more about what to do with her. I don't even know what happened just now. Granted, uh, Giovanna as a character, she seemed like her wolf would be able to do a lot more than just, you know, be there for visual. I thought her wolf, wolf would be more of a uh, puppet character style, but for the most part, wow, that overhead. That overhead is, you gotta really block that thing. But yeah, for the most part, uh, this game is sick. I'm not gonna lie, I have a nice counter for me. I enjoyed myself a lot on that, yeah. See, Milia really, she's really good on getting people in the corner right now. Granted, this Giovanna player is uh, more experienced than me. I only had like a few minutes of uh, practice with Milia. Most of my most of my skill play right now is coming from playing as Melia and in uh what is it Guilty Gear XR plus R I believe whatever the one with the additional rollback is. Granted, ooh, this was a nice nice Roman cancel, but he didn't confirm that. As you can see right now, I'm trying to just do something, and I actually did get that confirmed, but that was with the wrong move. Slap. Okay, okay. Giovanna, she reminds me of uh, going up against, I'd say, a Chun Li, but without, you know, some projectiles and stuff like that. But regardless, see, I had fun with this match. So far, my main problem with this, as we move on to my next fight, I had to track this guy down. So I'm pretty sure if you've actually seen anything about this game, uh. Yeah, I had to actually track down most of the people that I fought just to get a rematch in. And that to me is not very good. So, actually, no, sorry, this is a totally different guy. So, Giovanna players are going to be playing a little bit differently. For the most part, uh, yeah, this guy's well-versed as well. Yeah, his strings do not stop. This guy's well-versed as well. This guy's really... Nice counter. This guy's really versed in this game. You can already see it. Now, I did confirm that, but I didn't know how to confirm that, so... So keep in mind, in this first early stage, I've never gone for a single combo with uh, Melia. And yeah, as far as understanding when to actually use, I don't think it's faultless guard, but as far as the guard that prevents you from getting ship damage and stuff like that, uh, yeah, I gotta learn how to properly do all of those things. But so far, my experience with the Guilty Gear beta has been, this game is fun, not gonna lie. And to quote a few fighting game players out there, this game is fun because the online is fun. If you have a very struggling time with playing fighting games online, it's probably because the netcode isn't all that good. And a fighting game with bad netcode might as well just be dead on arrival, in my opinion. With this being 2021 and having most people indoors due to quarantine, uh, a fighting game... Wow, I'm mixing this guy's shit in the corner right now. Granted, I, don't even, I didn't even know what I was doing, but... Okay, that was a slowdown Roman cancer. Yeah. 
Okay, so I got that mix in. I got that mix in. Uh, Millie is jumping heavy is really, really good. Millie is jumping heavy is really, really good. I saw a lot of players doing that, and I had to adapt that to my playstyle. So me, I have to confirm these air attacks. You're not gonna see a single, you're not gonna see a single anti-air through this video. Well, you're not gonna see me confirm a single one. God, that damage. And this person kicks it in with, uh... Oh man, I thought I did some sick shit just now. No, I didn't mean to dash twice just now, I don't think. So yeah, Giovanna, really, really, I wouldn't say her playstyle is simple, uh, she's pretty quick, she reminds me of a Chun-Li, I can only describe it as such, she's pretty quick, she has some decent strings and whatnot, so far my experience in this game has been, yes, it's very fun, but similar to everyone else's problem, this game can be, uh, the lobbies in this game are terrible, man. The lobbies in this game, how can I describe this, there is a gap when I'm waiting at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes trying to find a match, and that, in my opinion, is going to be Guilty Gear Strive's downfall. But then again, I don't think you guys need to absolutely tell me, for those of you out there that play this game. But for those of you who don't play this game, yeah, Guilty Gear Strive is going to be coming out not in April. What is it? April, May, June. Probably June, I think. It's either April, May, or June. Because it got delayed again because of the fact that the lobbies were that bad. But if you are on this channel, more than likely you're probably going to see me playing this game a lot more often. Because fighting game Fridays are an actual thing that I do like to do. And as good as Fantasy Strike and Dragon Ball Fighters is, Guilty Gear, I have a feeling is going to be the top fighting game of this year. Regardless of things like King of Fighters and everything else. Anyway, my name is Chaos the Gamer. And yeah, GG's.